Good afternoon. I'm pleased to introduce Ambliotech to you. Ambliotech is a hybrid. We are a life science and software company focused on treating ocular and other disorders using game technology to affect neuroplasticity. Like every startup, we pay our lawyers a lot of money so they get a slide. Our first indication is amblyopia, which affects 3% of the global population, which means one in every 40 children. There are two types of amblyopia, strabismic and refractive. In both cases, the brain accepts the visual input from the stronger eye and suppresses the input from the weaker eye. This suppression causes, causes a loss of 3D acuity or stereopsis and in some cases can lead to blindness of the amblyopic eye. The number of potential patients in the U.S. is approximately 9 million. There is no viable treatment option for patients over the age of 12. The current standard of care is patching. The problem with patching is that it's minimally effective in adolescents and not at all in adults. Further, pediatric children are not compliant as the patch is applied to the good eye for at least six hours a day. Now, what kid is going to want to do that? The course of treatment takes up to two years and costs up to $3,300 in physician visits. After all of that, 50% of the patients relapse post-treatment as patching does not synchronize vision using both eyes. Welcome to Dig Rush. The first binocular therapy which recovers stereopsis and improves visual acuity. Dig Rush is a left eye, right eye game, which means it is a separate game for the dominant and the amblyopic eye. However, <clears throat> to be successful with this game, the patient needs to obtain cooperation using both eyes. By doing so, the patient regains 3D acuity without relapse or regression. Current treatment regimens are monocular only and can cause reverse amblyopia. Our binocular technology incorporated in Dig Rush and the other games we are currently developing stimulate and encourage the brain to process visual information using both eyes, thus establishing stereopsis in six weeks. The game is embedded in a dedicated iPad, which is calibrated for the particular patient in the physician's office. The patient then takes the iPad home for six weeks of gameplay at an hour of day. While the patient has the device, Dig Rush is in the background actively monitoring compliance and reporting that information back to the physician. This compliance information is also being reported to our HIPAA compliant cloud. Accordingly, we will be collecting the largest data set of information on amblyopia in the world. This data set has obvious benefits to the prescribing physician, but will have other valuable applications, which I'm sure you can appreciate, but for which I am not liberty to mention at this time. The key takeaway from our binocular treatment is that unlike patching, it is a binocular therapy. In addition, patients are compliant because they're playing an enjoyable game. As for adults, we are not bound by age as to effectiveness. We have successfully treated patients in their 50s. This is a medical breakthrough as there has never been a successful treatment for, am uh, for adults with amblyopia. Clinical trials have proved that the effectiveness of the binocular technology crosses the iPod, iPad, computer monitor, TV screen. We even tested it using Oculus Rift. It is important to note that all of our trials use patients who have failed patching. In this slide, we are comparing individuals who played the game patched versus individuals who played the game with both eyes and then had a crossover. We found that the patch cohort had negligible improvement compared to the binocular, uh, binocular approach. 
we have a strong and growing IP position with numerous international applications pending. We have a partnership with Ubisoft for software development of Dig Rush, our new game Monster Burner, and all the other games that are, are, are coming. We currently have an ongoing 500 patient clinical trial with PEDEG with the support of a $5 million NIH grant. We expect that final report in March of 2016. We have an experienced management team with over 20 product launches. So where do we go from here? We have filed our PMA with the FDA and are waiting clearance to market in 2016. We are also expanding our research. As you know, 15% of the population is 3D deficient, and we can correct this. Also, other applications, ADD, ADHD, post-traumatic stress disorder, can also benefit from game therapy. It is a very exciting time at, for Amblyotech, and I trust you will want to be part of our success. Thank you.